Hello, 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 hello. Today I will discuss with you the solutions to our latest lottery problem. There are 100 lotteries. In each lottery is only one price. The lotteries are in no way connected. You buy one ticket in each lottery. So you end up with 100 tickets. And the probability, we now want to calculate the probability that you win exactly four prizes. Exactly four means not zero, not one, not two, not three, not five, exactly four. Problem seven was very similar. In problem seven, there were thousand lotteries and each lottery had only one price. And you bought one ticket in each of those thousand lotteries. And in problem seven, I asked you what is the probability that you win exactly two prices. Therefore, if you now watch first the solutions to problem seven, you will immediately be able to solve this problem with the hundred lotteries and the probability that you win only four prizes. So let's take a look at what I wrote on the blackboard. So in the solutions of problem seven, small n was thousand, and there was one price in each lottery. And you buy one ticket in each lottery, and the question was, what is the probability that you only win two prices? In the new problem, small n is now 100, because there are 100 lotteries. And the probability that a given ticket will be a winning ticket was 1 in 1000 in problem 7. It is now 1 in 100, of course. And so the probability for a given ticket that you win no price is 1 minus this p, which is 0 0.99. So now the question is, with n equals 100, and with p equals 0 0.01, what is now the probability that you win only k prices. Go to problem 7, look at the solutions, and you should be able to confirm this. I may not have written it in the solutions of problem 7 exactly this way, but once you have watched the solutions, you should be able to confirm this, that the probability of winning k prices and only k is this p to the power k times 1 minus p, this 1 minus p to the power n minus k, with n being 100, times n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. So this probability has a scale then from 0 to 1. I will multiply that equation by 100, so then I get the probabilities in terms of percentages. But that's of course a detail. So I substitute in this equation k equals 1, and I find that p1 is 36.97%. The probability that I win exactly two prices is of course lower. And I find that that is 18.48%.
and the probability that I win exactly three prizes is again lower, which is 6.10%. And then finally, that is the answer to the problem, the probability that I win exactly four prizes is only 1.49%. The probability that you win exactly five prizes, which I didn't ask you, of course, is even lower, of course, than the probability that you win four. That's only about 0.3%. It's interesting now to ask the question, what is the probability in our problem that you win zero prizes? And the reason why that is interesting is for that you don't need this equation. Yes, of course, you can use that equation. As long as you know that if k is zero, that k factorial, zero factorial is one. So yes, you can use that equation. But it is immediately obvious that the probability that you win zero prices must be 0.99 to the power 100. Because any given ticket has a probability of 0.99 that you don't win. And so if you don't win 100 times in a row with all your 100 tickets, that must be a probability of 0.99 to the power 100. And that is 36.6%. And what is interesting is that the probability that you win zero prizes is lower than the probability that you win only one prize. All right, I will leave you with this. By all means, watch the solutions to problem seven and try to digest it. This is not really a physics problem. This is a math problem. But never forget, math is the language of physics. And in many physics problems, issues like this come up. All right. Have a nice day. Take care. And let's be friends. And this is the first video that I'm recording with my new glasses. <laughs> I love them! I recorded the solutions to this problem many, many months ago. And so I decided to watch it again before I was going to post it. And I noticed that I did not answer the easy part. <laughs> the first part, namely, what is the probability that you win at least one price? Well, of course, that is one as one minus the probability that you get zero prices. And I calculated that. That probability was 36.6%. So the probability that you get at least one price is 63.4%. Let me check that. Yes, 63.4. <laughs> it is also, of course, 1 minus 0.99 to the power 100. And the whole thing you can multiply by 100 to get percentages. Many of you did quite well. I would think that about 15% of you got both answers right. About 25% perhaps got only one answer right, which was the first answer. And all the others, which is more than 50%, <laughs> both answers were wrong. But it's never too late to catch up on probabilities. And this is one example. Okay then, all the best.